Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I will be doing a replay review of my own games. And I did these games on stream. Also, I stream here on YouTube now, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday at 2 p.m. PST, translate that to your time. But pretty much they were just gonna go through what I did wrong and try to give more tips and more niche things, more niche advice that maybe other people don't uh, talk about. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the replay. All right, welcome to the replay in question. And the reason I'm doing a replay review today is I flipped the coin. And since I didn't play that good today, I decided to flip a coin and see if I recorded a uh, road to SSL or if I did this replay review here for you guys. And the coin hit hit heads and heads was the replay review. So yeah. But besides that, let's get into it, shall we? I played this game on stream today. And today wasn't a very good day. If you're there for stream, you know what happened. But in the end, we still gained uh, still gained MMR. So I'm happy about that. But starting off here, if you kind of notice, my pathing here is kind of subpar. And the reason it's subpar for you, that, you, you people that don't know is that I should be on the pads here. This back boost is up that's why my car's pointed towards it but it was stolen in the frame before so that 100 boost is there but the reason why this is also bad is i should still be aiming to grab pads and since i also barely recognized that my teammate was bumped there i must completely just did not help in the play and have an open net but right here i'm trying to put on pressure that boost did not spawn that's just there and since I had no boost, which yet again could have be could have been avoided if I grabbed two more pads here. Like one, two. Instead of driving in no man's land, I could have been grabbing pads in there. So yeah, this made this wall play very, very hard. I could have went earlier. Only reason why I didn't is because I tried to wait to where I know I could flip and get to the ball otherwise I kind of look like that <laughs> I'm a man of myself there I almost get a goal out of it though I go up by pressure I wait for him to hit the ball here and the reason why you could call this kind of a, uh, a bad play here too is because let's say he doesn't go up and I go up he just kind of has a, a free ball to turn which is why it's very risky, but since I kind of saw him like flip and jump, I was like, okay, I'll go up the wall. Right here, I'm trying to get a demo. That's the story of my life in today's stream. Let me slow it down for you guys that didn't see it. For you in the back. That's solid contact. But no demo. It is what it is. The reason I'm positioning here like this, right, so if I if I slow it down just a little bit here, if I pause it here, if you look at the nose of my car, it's pointed towards the net, and now it's pointed towards the corner. I didn't need to do this adjustment for the corner, and I could have honestly just waited here. Like, I didn't need to turn here or anything. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to preemptively drive towards where the next play is going, which is why you see me going this way. And it puts me in the perfect position. So those that aren't aware, it's a lot easier for you to drive to the next play if your nose and car is pointed towards it. So I just try to play to the wall, teammates there, and boom, we get a goal. Happy about it there. You can see the little camera shape, camera movement. Right here, I try to grab boost. I try to like tap it so we can't get on it. I take too much of a cut there. It doesn't go as high as I want it. I still don't know how that guy bumped me. But right here, as you can see, I'm waiting for the pass for the middle. You could say this is a very risky play, but I know that one of them, Danny over there, is out of the play. And all we gotta do is play a 2v1 against Monkey Man here. Unfortunate touch from my teammate. I try to cut. He goes again, though. He goes again, and this is where I try to go mid. Very bad challenge on my end. Doesn't let me do anything, right? Tried to grab boost. Timmy goes for me. 
but I can't make a play off of it, but you can see me moving towards the next play. Got the boost. Try to get a 50. I tried to keep it in the corner because your corner is the safest part. I follow this here because I thought my teammate might have been demoed and, and I want to continue the pressure. I grabbed the boost here and I'm looking for a demo. As you can see me trying to cut it off. So I play the pass out. Get over monkey man there. The funky monkey. I try to play back. Ready for the, the play here. It gets over him. I wait to see his touch. It hits off the the bad part of my car. And what I mean by that, if I go to fly here. And I get off of people. If I go here and I pause it right here. I should have flipped here. Or just been a little closer to the ball. But since the ball pops off his car. And it hits the wall before it hits my car. It's going to pop off mid. Which is why I got a bad touch. If I flipped here, or if I even just drove like as like a car's length, like a literally like ninety-eight percent of a fennec further, the the ball would have been fine. But since I didn't do that, and uh, I wasn't there for the the play afterwards, the the ball goes in the net. Very bad touch there, but, you know, that's something that you can only, like, kind of change later. Try to create pressure. I don't have the boost for this. I try to, like, play it faster. Play off the corner wall. Doesn't get it. Try to go for the bump on the possible follow-up. Doesn't happen. I go for this boost, and reason I don't go for the ball here, like, right away, is because I know, and I can see... Mr. Monkey Man here, if you watch my perspective and you watch the Funky Monkey, as I see him, he's used his flip, and in this current position, he's turned away from the ball, and so is his teammate. So I have a free touch here. I try to take it up. Very bad touch. Try to get it to my teammate. As you can kind of tell, the theme of the, the stream is not very good touches. Try to put a shot on target. Shot is on target, but it's not fast enough. I try to signal to my teammate to turn. He can't see the camera movements, but. Almost. That was on target. So technically did my job there. Yet again, I'm just off. I try to get a touch or like just something to change up the play. Let's see, go into the play again. It's the wall. Try to pass it to my teammate. I kept it on the ground. If I hit that in the air, Maybe a little bit better of a play, but the air is also pretty decently easy to read. I'll try to bounce it, stall time for me here. Grab boost. To be honest, almost gets a really cool goal. I'll try to 50 it so it can stay in there. Their half. I yet again make solid contact with him, but he's not dead. I honestly cheat up too much here, but that's because I thought my team was going to follow in the play or follow up the ball in the play. So I could then follow along like the boost path or like go into the middle ready for a pass, but that doesn't happen. So I have to go and cut mid, give time for or give enough time for my team to grab boost or whatever. I play this really poorly here. I didn't need to go up there like immediately. Good save for my teammate. I'm a little awkward in net now. Looking for some pads, but I try to position myself in that. And again, quad reset coming right at me. I'm not too worried about it. Try to grab some boost. My teammate's done. Uh, that demoed. I do get a lucky bump there. Try to tap it up. My teammate a shooting angle. Doesn't get it. And of course your boy puts it in the net. Of course he does. But don't think that happened a lot that shit. <laughs> I did not shoot. They get the uh, the Spanish kickoff there, but luckily for us, they don't score it. I try to box this guy out, grab the boost. He turns. I know my teammate doesn't have much, so I'm trying to like stall time, let him go get stuff. I try to get the, the pinch. 
try to just. Uh, I can't speak right now. No cap. Try to recover. Try to get the 50. Maybe a bump. And that's just an unfortunate touch from my teammate. If we look at this from my teammate's perspective, right? I'm not saying he did anything right or wrong here. Just saying if we look at it from my teammate's perspective, like, I would love to jump for this ball too. The reason why it's a goal is because I am in the net, right? A lot of people are saying, ar, 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 my teammate missed the open net. Oh, it was so easy. First of all, it wasn't e easy. We see Funky Monkey on the backboard. And if you're high enough level to understand that someone backboard means no goal, I shouldn't even be saying this stuff to you, <laughs> to be honest. But someone backboard equals not easy shot because A, there's a defenseman. It doesn't matter if the low guy was bumped. The guy that can get to the ball first or even tie or like whatever, like make my teammate not have a goal was in a position for that to not to happen, right? If we go back to my teammate's perspective here, the only way that this is a goal is if he puts it right. And if Mr. Funky Monkey or let's see how much boost he had, 96, 96 bass back wall, that's pretty much pretty much a guaranteed save versus zero boost and 32 so just the funky monkey by himself has more boost than my entire team and that's also something we need to pay attention to right when we're making plays and let's say i do get back for this and i save it whatever keep the game going could have been a different game Try to grab pads, try to follow up my teammate here. I'll try to keep it up, try to 50. I go into the challenge first, which means I probably lose it. This is over me. I don't know where it's gonna bounce because my camera, the way my camera is positioned and the where I was on the field. You can kind of tell where it is, but I can't exactly react in time, which is my own fault, right? But if we go back into a few things here, I think it was this goal, or no. This play here, this is the play I'm thinking of. Like, this is why I say mechanics don't mean anything if you don't know how to use them. And right here, this was a poor demonstration of how to use mechanics. Yes, I get a semi pinch off, right? It's it's going decently fast, not the fastest. Which is why it's not a goal. If it's this is not a peak shot, it's not going in. Right. So what I could have done here instead is take it through the middle. Which is, by the way, the scariest part to attack. If you, or, yeah, if you attack through the middle here, it's a lot scarier than taking it to the side where the defenders are just like, okay, they got to bring it to us. Boom. If it's more on point here and more like a threat, it's a lot scarier to defend. I try to get demos, as I said, and the play develops like that. I thought he was going to go onto the ball there, which is why I wasn't there. I was ready for a different play. And you could say that's on my positioning, which it possibly could be, because if we look at this from a teammate's perspective... Oh, uh, let's play right here. He's off the wall. Like, I think he's going for the ball there. Right? Not until he pulls off, right? Do you see, like... If we look at his car movement... Not until there do I realize, oh, he's not turning for the ball. Which I could be like, oh, that's my positioning. I wasn't close enough to the play. Which... In twos... Yet again, this is the, the shot yet again. The play in question will say. Like, that's a lovely ball. I'd love to go for that. But unless this is a shot to the side or a shot enough time for me to. Unless this is in or enough time for the ball to stall. Like, if he stalls enough time here, it doesn't matter if the ball went in or not. I, was, I had enough time to get back and get boost and defend properly, right? But since the outcome was was what it was, it's a bad play, right? 
Right, good intention, bad outcome. But if we also go back to this original, or is it this save here? Which save? This save. Right here, right? And we go from my teammate's perspective. The reason why this isn't scary is because of the way my teammate challenged this, right? Unfortunate recovery there. Challenges a high. Oh, he gets that, he gets that. He jumps, right? Perfect timing. And from my perspective, he's making it a lot easier on me, which is why the first man is such an important like position in twos, threes, whatever. First man is so important. First man needs to get those challenges off. I think he's out of boost or he doesn't need to go again. But then I become the first man here, right? Lucky bump. Right here, if this ball went out a little further, like let's say it went out to this uh, this pad right here, he has an easier advantage. He doesn't have to jump as soon or as far away and pretty much tie the defender. If this goes out like right here, somewhere around here instead of here, it's pretty much, pretty much an easier shot. Like Danny only gets there because, you know, he's just able to cut off the shot angle but yeah pretty much what i have gathered from this uh replay and i don't know if you guys have is to be in better position right use your brain think a little harder <laughs> right if i'm paying more attention here i realize that he's like way too far to the side of the ball right just on like noticing kickoffs like the only reason this works to where it did is because i jumped because i didn't realize he was too far to the side of the ball like if you go back a frame or two like you can see oh he flipped but i only jumped because i don't realize his name is moving to the side a little bit more and it works because of that Unfortunately, they don't get it fully, or fortunately for us, they don't get it fully. I didn't get a demo. And this is where I kind of like turned off my brain again, right? And rank, you kind of want to be there, you want to be in the game. If I'm smarter here, I take this, I literally do this, right? I cut it, I take it down here. That's past one guy, I have one guy left. And I bring it closer to the net, I flick it, pop it, whatever, I go for the air dribble bump. Anything. Anything is better than this. I was on stream, I probably wanted to entertain a little bit. And that's why I went for it. But then, if you're serious about ranking up, you don't go for that stuff. You go for the percentage plays and you go for the better shots that turn into goals, right? That's what you want to go for. But... Yeah. There you go. If I'm more ahead in the game, I'm a little bit closer to the play. Like, here I can turn. I can turn sooner. We got one in the back. That should be a goal, honestly. But, you know, it is what it is. We take these games, we learn from them, and we make sure we don't make that mistake again, right? If we do, we just call that a bad habit, and we make sure we get rid of that bad habit. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys did take something away from this video. If you didn't, uh, better luck next time. I'll I'll probably have more uh, replay reviews coming out. Uh, make sure, if you're interested on more fine-tuning your own gameplay, I do have a coaching uh, thing linked in the description now. Uh, it should be up. And yeah, if you have any other questions, ask them in the description. Or if you don't, just say what's up <laughs> but uh yeah i hope you guys did enjoy the video i'll see you in the next one peace